Hey guys, how you doing? Welcome back to another tutorial. Today, we're going to be looking at how you can take two seats and switch between them. Say you have pilot, co-pilot, things like that. Uh, let's get right into it. Okay, so starting off, I have a platform and I have a water tank here, which has a pipe with a pump, and that leads to a fluid cannon here that's going to be shooting our water. And we want two people to be able to control this um, and select between the two. So this is just an example, but you might have it with um, a helicopter or something. Pilot, co-pilot, switch. Um, that's a pretty common one. And uh, it's actually pretty simple when you get into it. So um, we obviously have a couple of seats. So I'm just going to put there. And we're going to need a way to toggle between uh, either two. So... I'm just going to use a simple toggle button here and uh, label that. Okay, now you could do this with um, normal logic blocks, but you you're going to be placing down quite a lot, and it might make your creation uh, more laggy overall. So easiest way to do it is just in a microcontroller. And it's super simple in here because it all condenses it down and it's really nice. Okay, so in the uh, microcontroller editor here, I'm just going to label this seat switch. And it's not going to be very big, which is cool because uh, we like compact, lag free stuff. And I'm going to start with a couple composites. These are going to be from each seat. So we got seat two and seat one. Um, there. It doesn't really matter which way they're around, but uh, depends which one you want to start with, I guess. And we're going to have four outputs for actually five. So we get five there. And now I'm only going to be doing um, one on off with these four numbers here. Um, we only need two for these, but I'm gonna be doing four in case you're, say, doing a helicopter, like before I said. And I've got one for the pump, so there's that. And so we're gonna need four outputs, which are numbers. Cool. And that's pretty much all we're going to need there in in the logic section. So I'm going to come in. And here's where it might get a bit confusing if you've never used um, composite signals before. Okay, so now that we're in the logic section, I've laid out my seats here. Um, both composite on the left and on the number of values that we're outputting, as well as the pump output uh, on the right here. And I'm going to start with the pump. It's probably the easiest one. So composite signals are a bit like boxes where you can at one end put a bunch of stuff in, carry it all at once, and at the other end take it all out and kind of unpackage it. And it's basically the same principles where you have a bunch of these signals combined into one and you can transfer it all in one go, which is, which is pretty cool. So basically a read a read block here. There's two. There's one for number and one for um, on-off. I'm going to be using a couple on-offs here. They can basically read a channel of up to 32. So you can have 32 things stored in one um, composite signal, which is quite a lot. And so these were actually unpackaged. So we can wire these up here. And they're both going to be a channel one because we've got two seats and they, they both have um, on the first hotkey um, an output that's going to be working. So both channel one for these and to kind of get them into one output for the single pump I'm going to use an OR and this is that you're going to take if one of these is on then the pump's going to work if the other one's on it's going to work and it's basically just going to combine it into one 
Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to take the same read and I'm going to get eight numbers. And basically we've got four for one seat and four for the other. And over here we've got the uh, the outputs for the pitch and stuff. They're in order. Um, AD is going to be number one. So I've got that as your. Um, WS is going to be two. So I've got that as pitch. Um, left, right is three. And up, down is four. And this is going to be in the channel numbers for your seat. So your seat will output... Um, a, a value on channel 1 if you're pressing the AD it will output a channel 2 if you're doing the WS um, and so on and so forth so for one seat I'm just going to wire all of these up and I'm going to go down channel 2 channel 3 and channel 4 the numbers the number channels are actually separate from the on off channels so it doesn't matter if this is a 1 and this is a 1 so I'm going to do that for both, both seats, and that that's that's the hardest thing about this, just getting your head around um, this composite value going into these. And from here, we can simply um, come back into design. I'm actually going to add a switch button, which is going to be an input and that's going to come down in the middle and I'm going to get a few numerical switch boxes four and they're just going to simply go up and what a new numerical switch box does takes new two numerical values and toggles between them which is great because that's exactly what we want to do so the switch is going to go to the switch and each of these is going to come down. I'm going to have the on value as just seat one. So seat two would be default um, seat for the operation. And for off, it's going to correspond here to all the ones like that. So we've got one coming in and we've got seat two one coming in as well. And we can switch between them to get our yaw. And that's really it. If you're having trouble um, understanding that, do pause and kind of go through it. And uh, yeah, that's going to work. So I'm just going to save that and uh, come in. I'll get the battery again. And I'll get the seat switch. So we've got, I'll do this as seat one and then seat two here, composite. There you see value one, AD, value two, WS, and so on. And uh, yeah, so that's it for the seat really. We don't really need to add anything there. We just have to uh, assign our output. So the pump is the pump switch is a switch uh, left right your we're not gonna assign those yet pitch I'm doing nozzle pitch and your it's gonna be the swivel for the for the nozzle and get those wired up wired up and now that should work so I'm gonna come here we got seat two WSAD is working and if I press my hotkey one, it's gonna it's gonna go ahead and spray, which is which is perfect. Now as I'm doing that, um, I'm gonna press this, and you see it's locked in place. My keys now aren't working, but if I, if I come in this seat, boom! Now the cannon's working again because this is switched, which is perfect. And this actually leaves space or any outputs you want to add for individual seats as well. So you have all of these outputs still free because we use the composite. And you also have like 32 other hotkeys 
as well built in to the composite signal that you can use for this so the possibilities are pretty endless and what I'm going to be doing this time is uploading this microcontroller to the workshop link will be down below in the description for you to check it out and I'll have this full example here as well um, on there for you guys so go check that out and uh, yeah